it's just, it's it's gonna be a fun year for for us on the outside because of the fact that we're just like we're in the mix of everything. So how did it feel, first of all, coming back from quarantine and seeing those national championship rings? It felt nice. Like to me, that was like my first like realization that we actually won the national championship. And and when I pulled them from under the chair and, and opened the box, I was like, oh my God, like this thing's big. Like they big, they look nice, and we did it. Like it was all us, we did it. You set a pretty high bar for yourself as a freshman, and I think most people would say you did really well your freshman season. So how much confidence does that give you going into your sophomore year having that under your belt? Well, for me, it, it gives me a lot of confidence because now I know what to expect from certain things, like the speed of the game is like slower now, so um, I know what to expect more than I did, obviously, in my freshman year. Well, what did you write down in the off season, like on um, things that you wanted to work on to, to get better at for this sophomore season? I had a lot of things, like um, like technique-wise, like when I'm pressing the receiver, like eyes and feet, or say I'm off, um, making sure that I'm not looking in the backfield at the quarterback, staying, keeping my eyes on the receiver, like a little small stuff like that. And then we got the, um, Coach Bellini with us now, so trying to get on board with all that because, you know, a whole different system, so. Whole different system, but Bo talks a lot about being more aggressive and attacking as a defense. So mm -hmm. what does that do for your position as a cornerback that excites you to, to yeah. get in this this new scheme? Yeah, like uh, we're, we're way more involved um, um, than we were last year. Um, we have a lot more help. We like, it's, just, it's, it's gonna be a fun year for, for us on the outside because of the fact that we're just like, we're in the mix of everything. We saw um, other freshmen besides you getting some reps last year, but now y'all enter year two as a group. What's Corey Raymond's message to your room as y'all turn the page to this season? He wanted, he wanted all of us to just go out and show that we can all just rotate and it's like uh, somebody goes down or somebody gets tired and the next person comes in and it's like there was no change at all. Like he, he, he believes in all of us and we all believe in each other. Um, to step up and get the job done. You've seen Miles Brennan behind the scenes your freshman year and then also when you were a recruit because he's been around now for so long. Mm -hmm. What should LSU fans know about him? They should be happy and not worried about anything at all because Miles Brennan will definitely get the job done. He would do it better than a lot of people think he will too. What have you noticed in your year of practice with him? A lot of things that when I first came in, a lot of things that Joe was doing, they were throwing it, um, going through the progressions and all that stuff, I see all the same things with him. So. When you see all these DBs that just recently got into the NFL and, and you're looking at all them, what, what have you learned from guys like Christian Fulton that you take into the rest of your career here? Christian Fulton, he, so whenever we go through film uh, and I'm watching him, he, he changes up a lot of things from play to play. And for me, I was, like I was nervous, I, like I didn't want to change nothing up because if I did, I felt like I wouldn't win the rep or, or um, win the series. And he always did that and it always kept the receiver on their toes. So that's something that I look forward to taking from him into my game. And thank you for watching Inside the Huddle presented by Community Coffee, the state coffee of Louisiana and official coffee of the LSU Tigers.